Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us today. And I have a few special guests. Well, I guess one very special guest. Dozens. This is... Oh. Leah. Leah. Leah! <laughs> and how old are you? Um, 11. 11. Okay. Oh, you're about to turn 12? Mm -hmm. When's your birthday? What? September 18th. Nice. Ooh, countdown. <laughs> and then what's your favorite color? Yellow. Yellow! <gasps> Me too. Yes. Yellow friends. Oh, and then we have our cameraman, Keenan, who you may know already. But you wanted to come say hi. Hello. Thanks for <laughs> coming today. You may be giving us some fun facts about oh, when you show our project. We're doing. We're going to be painting a beehive and bees. So this is our fun project that we're doing together today. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you can add some of those in during the project. <laughs> I'm just going to add them in randomly, even if you're not painting. <laughs> Deal. OK, so the supplies that we're using are our watercolors. The three colors we are using are, I'm just going to show them really quickly is the first one is magenta, or if you have a red. And then we're using yellow and blue. So when we are using this, it's cool because we're gonna use all these colors to mix. We'll mix some of the orange, we'll mix black together. I'll also show you how to use a lot of water to make the wings look kind of clear. Mm. So these are some of the techniques we're going to be using today. Now, oh, I got some on my paper. And then the other thing is that if you want, the fun thing at the very end is I may be using some crayons. So I'm going to be using a black crayon and then a gold jelly roll. But if you don't have that, that's okay. I just wanted to let you know if you do have those to grab those out. Now, the, oh, and a pencil. That was the other thing. I, I knew there was one other thing. So. You are going to be doing a drawing lesson with us today. So if you've never drawn with us, we're going to show you how to break it down into simple steps that I know you can do with us. So, oh, the first step is, is I want you to raise your hand and we're going to say our motto together. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. Oh, and then we're going to fist pump. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah. Okay, so now we are ready to draw and then paint together. Ooh, so drawing. Grab your pencil. Our pencil is our friend. Now, the first step is so you if you have this guide, or I'm gonna show it right here. So the first step is we're going to draw the bottom. So draw a smiley face at the bottom. And if you do it more towards the bottom, you don't have to do it at the very bottom, because you you'll have a little bit of room here. So maybe a little bit up and then draw a smiley face. And however big it is, that's how big your bottom will be. Hmm. So the second step is, is we're gonna draw these two curves. Cause when we look at this honey or the beehive is that they come up. So draw two curves at the right and the left side. So going out and then in, so they look like they're curving. And then I want you to connect these lines. So draw another smiley face. Ooh. Sweet, okay, so here's the really cool part. Do you see how on this one, it gets bigger and then it gets smaller as it goes up? So to do that, we are going to repeat these steps. So we're gonna repeat our curve but I want you to draw it in and curve towards the middle a little bit more. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So you're gonna start here again and I'm gonna curve towards the middle a little bit more. Yeah. And then connect it. And then keep repeating. So you get to decide how many of them you want. So maybe some of them are smaller. Maybe that one will be a little bit smaller. We keep going. So again, we're doing curves. Good job. The way I like how yours are coming out. Then, so you can decide how big you want yours to be. 
I might do one more and then on your last one what I want you to do is instead of a smiley face kind of flip it upside down and make it more curved so it's not necessarily a frown face yeah that's good no leave that yeah yeah so you draw a curve like that yeah nice that looks so good okay now the last step is is drawing the opening of the beehive because when you look inside so this is going to be an upside down U. so start at the left in the middle yeah and then go up and around like a train tunnel yeah <laughs> yeah an arch boom that looks so good okay now the next step is is we're going to draw our bees around our beehive so to do this the first step is you're going to draw a circle for the head and you can draw it anywhere around so draw I'll draw it near me. circle for the head and then let's start with this one so you're going to draw an almond shape so this is two curves put together. So start with at the bottom of the head, draw a curve, yeah. And then do it on the opposite side, yep. Mm. Sweet, and like then- Like a long C. Yes, yeah. So it's the same shape as we did here. And then you're going to add the wings. So the wings are like curves or kind of open, not necessarily circles, but they can be actually maybe ovals. And you come up and around. And then you can overlap them if you want, because these are going to be clear. Overlap means they go one on top of the other. Boom. Okay. Oh, and then our antennas. Antennae? Antennae? Is mm, it not antenna? Good question. Good question. <laughs> Yay! Okay, then let's do one where it's on. So this is as if we were looking at it from the front. Let's do one if we were looking at it from the side. So pick another spot and draw the circle for the head. And then you're going to do the almond shape, but do it to the right of the head. So go curve, curve, and then these wings are going to be on top. So you're going to do a curve, then a curve. Oh, and then, then ten, nine antennas yeah fun okay let's make do you want to draw a few more okay so we're going to draw a few more around she's just going to fill it up it's the final one and then maybe keenan has some fun b facts for us i do Ooh. before we started filming yeah. we asked each other how many we thought uh how many species of bees we thought there were and what are our answers? I said 12. 28. 28. I said 40. 40. How we many do you think there are? Okay, please tell us. Should we tell them what I found or should we... We can tell them, keep yeah. Keep it a secret. But you, you guess how many you think. I'll wait four seconds. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Okay. From my research, which has been very brief, there are actually around 20... Thousand <laughs> known species of bee. Whoa! Isn't that crazy? I would have had no idea. No. That's so many bees. Guess how many are native to the United States, which means how many live in the United States? If there's 20,000, you guess first. 8,000. Ooh, good Ooh, guess. That's a good guess. 22,000. Ooh. Just two. You guys two. split it. It's 4,000. <gasps> In between us. That's nice. Wow. So 4,000 bees. Yeah. Species. Different types of bees. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So species means different types. Yeah. The most common one that Leah was saying that she thinks of is the honeybee. Yep. What is those big black ones that we saw? Bumbles. Those Old bumblebees. I think. <laughs> I might have made that up. That was a very big and fuzzy one. Yeah, there are a lot. Let me see. Honeybees. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yeah, antennas. Sweet. Okay. You successfully drew that. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so you did too, good job. Okay, now let's paint together. So we are done drawing. So now grab your paintbrush. So I'm gonna use the, you can use any size. So we have two different sizes, but I'm gonna start with the bigger one for right now. So what we're going to do is the first step is, is we are going to paint the yellow part. So do you see how there's yellow and then there's orange? Let's just do the yellow part first. So what I want you to do is we have our yellow. I'll give us a little bit more. Okay, and you have water close to you. So dip in your water first, because you want it to be light. And then pick up yellow, and I want you to paint the whole thing. So go over your lines and paint it all yellow. And then I like to grab water if I need some more. We're just gonna spread out your watercolors. So I'm gonna paint over it. You can go around your tunnel. Sweet. What do you look at? What do you find in over there? So do you know? Have you ever heard that bees shouldn't be able to fly because Should? their bodies are so big in proportion to how thin and weak looking their wings are? Oh. Have you ever heard that? No. Oh. Well, that's a, currently what I'm reading is a popular misconception. So. In reality, this is not true because they can and do fly all the time, right. which makes sense. So the science behind how they fly involves the way they move their wings, and this is the fun part of how they describe it, and the generation of tiny hurricanes that lift them upwards. What a fun way to describe how they fly and what wind they create. Hurricanes? Hurricanes. Oh, because they move so fast? They move so much wind. Whoa. Okay, keep, we're gonna pause that fun fact Keen's gonna keep giving us. And while it's wet, I wanna show you a fun trick. Okay, we're going to mix really quickly. I have some red here, or the magenta, and I'm gonna pick up some. I'm gonna squeeze a lot of yellow. Yeah, mix it together. So pick that up, and on, I want you to outline, so go over your pencil lines. And I want you to outline. So not color it all in, we're just tracing over. Yeah, and you see how it explodes into it? Beautiful. Boom. So it's because it's wet. So this technique is called the wet on wet technique. Keenan, is this a good, can we get a side shot of that? Is that a good spot? Yes, on your next pass, if you bring it a little to the left. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, good job. So this technique that we'll show you at the end is making it look round. And it looks like honey is just dripping from it. Oh, yes. It it's does. so full of honey that it's round. And I said this, I mixed this really fast, but to make orange is red or magenta and yellow together. So I did that really fast, I just realized. So red or magenta. Yes. Mixed either one of those, red or magenta, mixed with yellow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do we get to do the tunnel next? Yes. Well, not yet. Oh. Not yet. I got excited. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's do this repeat and we'll do the same technique and we're going to do it for our bumblebees. So can you see when you look this, like I said, we have our yellow, but then the orange just made it look round. So I wanna do the same thing for us on our bumblebees. So let's repeat those steps and let's do this again. So let me make, let's make us some more orange. So to make orange, you're gonna use a lot of yellow and just one drop because the magenta is really strong. So do you wanna mix that together? Yes. Ooh, that's there a we pretty go. color. Okay, so we're ready to go now. So let's, Let's, I'm gonna use the smaller brush because our bees are really, really tiny. So let's do the first step is you're gonna do your yellow. So paint yellow and then, hmm, oh yeah, the head too. I 
I have a lot of good bee facts. Oh, yes, do it. Okay, so I did two of them at a time. So then, and then I want to hear Keenan's bee facts. Then you're going to pick up the orange, and you're going to outline the same thing. Beautiful. Look at that bee over there, Leah. That looks so good. Yeah. And it'll start to blend in together, and I think that looks so cool. So I love when they're different colors. So that's what's going to happen to yours, too. Oh. <laughs> okay, go, Keenan. Give okay. us some facts while we paint. How many eyes do they oh. have? Feel it. Eight. Oh, so there's bees have five eyes. Oh, <laughs> you got five right. You've been really close on your numbers. Yeah. Like flies or oh yeah, flies have a ton of eyes. How many legs do you think bees have? Can you picture a bee and guess? Spiders have eight. Six. Six. Correct. Ooh. Good call. Okay, here's a good question. Very, very important question. What colors can bees see? And what one color can they not see? If, can they not see yellow? That would be wild. Uh. What was the question again? What color can they not what see? What colors can they see and what one color can they not see? What's your guess, Leah? Um, I'm guessing they can't see green. Okay. I'm guessing they can't see blue? Mmm. They can see all colors except red. Wow. Yeah. Fun cool fact. Fun fact. Yeah, it's neat. These can see all colors except red. They cannot see red. They cannot see red. Okay, so we are going to do the next step is painting our wings. So if you look at the wings, they're really, really light blue because the wings are clear. But we can't make it look clear exactly. But what we can do is we can make pretend. And what we're going to do is you're going to add, so we have our blue here. So I'm going to pick up some blue, and Lee and I are going to add, yeah, we're going to add a lot of water. So we're just dipping in, and let's mix that together. Let's see what we got. Mm. So water, oh, yes, water makes any color lighter. So that's how you make a color lighter, is you add water. So maybe we'll add at the top a little thing so you can remember that. So blue plus water equals light blue. Are you good with that color? Yeah? Okay. Oh, I need to go back to my small brush. So, pick that up, and you're going to paint your wings with water. Oh, and it might mix in a little bit, but that's okay. I like how that looks. So if it mixes, that's okay. So I'm gonna add that in. Now, if you don't want your colors to mix, what you can do is you can go take a snack break and then wait till it fully dries. But Lee and I are gonna paint with you right now. Oh, I actually love that. Add some green to it. These are beautiful bees. We're gonna keep going. Now, next up is, is Lee and I are going to mix black. So do you wanna do it, Leah? So you're gonna mix all three colors on your palette. Let's spin this. So to make black, you mix magenta, blue, bring this down so they can see, blue and yellow. So the three primary colors, whenever you mix them together, they make either brown or a black. Let's see what we get. Oh! <gasps> Sweet. Ooh, it kind of has a purple tint to it. I like that. Let's keep that. Are you good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have our black. So dip it in water. And then pick some up. And then paint it. So we're going to paint our door black. Yeah. Kind of has purple. So I'm going to make this a little bit more. 
some yellow. Ooh. If you make more like me, you might just become a magician and just mix. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I just wanted to make a little bit more for us. But you're good. You painted your whole thing. Oh, they, whoa. A little purple. Okay. I'm just going to leave it. I like it. It's a purple tint. Okay, so we're painting our door. Sweet. Okay. So, so I discovered that the worker bees yeah. are just the bees that live in the average beehive. And there's 20 to 80,000 bees that live in an average hive. They live five to seven weeks. Bees? Worker bees. Worker bees. That makes sense in why their entire lifetime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. One bee's life is not even two months. Five to seven weeks, yeah, no. Because there's four weeks in a month. Right. So one bee only lives two months. That, I had no idea. That's a great fun fact. Okay. I think ours are a little wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a snack break and then we'll be, we will finish up because we need to color our stripes and then we need to add our lines. So let's take a snack break. Did you bring snacks? We'll go get some. <gasps> okay, break. Okay, we're back. We had our snack break. Leah suggested a really good candy. What's your favorite candy? Skittles. Skittles. So we had some Skittles. Skittles! What's your favorite candy? Please tell us your favorite. <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> I ate a Twix cookies and cream. Which is really good. They're the best Twix so far in my life. <laughs> okay, so after a snack break, we're ready to finish our project. So for the last step is, is grab either your, if you have a crayon, we're gonna use a black crayon. Or if you don't have a crayon, what you could do is you can use your, and maybe I'll do both. So you can use your watercolors, I was gonna say. But we're gonna draw the stripes on our bees. Actually, Keenan, I'm hmm. curious, how many stripes are on bumblebees? I have Excellent no idea. question. But Anywhere from at least one. At least one. This is our imagination. So you're going to draw stripes on your bees. So you kind of draw little curves. So if you don't have a crayon, because it's completely dry, you can use your paintbrush and your watercolors that you have. So either one works. Ooh, I like doing that too. So you can do that too. So you can choose if you want to use your crayon. I just did three, but you can do two. Maybe you see how many you could fit. Yeah, maybe some of them have more. And when you draw stripes, I didn't say this earlier, when you draw stripes, you'll see that there's a little bit of yellow in between each one. So you want to have a little bit of room. Yes. Good job. Okay. Now, so we have our stripes. Oh, did you find out how many? No, but I forgot that I looked up how long queen bees live. Oh, yes. What's the answer? It's extremely longer compared to the worker bees. Okay. So we said worker bees last five to seven weeks. Yep. So almost two months. Yep. So they actually, this says more specifically 15 to 38 days in the summer and 150 to 200 days in the winter. That's that is the worker bees. Oh, so okay. So they range. Okay. The queen honeybees live on average one to two years. So two months versus one to two years. Yeah. That's Isn't that crazy? It's I incredible. I they're that much bigger. Oh no. Okay, well, we are going to do our last step, which is drawing the lines. Now, you can use either your crayon or we have a gold jelly roll, which is really fun. These are cool tools. So we're gonna use our gold pen and I want you to draw the lines. Now, if you wanna do it in pencil first, you can, or I think we could just go for it. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw dashed lines. They're these lines that look like this. So you're gonna go at the bottom of one of your honeybees and just start to draw lines. And then maybe you decide, oh, 
maybe they curve around. But do you see how the dashed lines, there's space in between, that's what a dashed line means. Yes! Whoa, those lines are sweet. Maybe they go over your, th your beehive. Maybe they go up. So we're drawing dashed lines. That looks so cool. Oh, and then Lee and I were thinking when we were on our snack break, the queen bee, mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to make one of them the queen bee. Do it. So they will last. Which one? Oh, yeah, Lee's going to do that one. So we thought maybe we'll just draw a crown. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. On the queen bee. So then we know. So the question we asked earlier was how many <laughs> stripes? <laughs> yes. The B, this B, hmm, I'm not sure which B this is, but it says this B has two yellow stripes, one on its thorax, and and the other is on its abdomen. It also has a red tail. <gasps> a red tail? Yeah, so they have what color is the bumblebee's tail? And there are four colors to choose from: blonde, white, red, or brown. A red tail. Yeah. I want to look up more photos of bees. They're very, it's very, it's amazing. So the answer is two? Yeah, it looks like we got the answer of two. Oh, well ours have more. That's okay. <laughs> Their imagination. We created these bees. <laughs> so just drawing our lines. Now again, if you don't have a jelly roll, you can use a crayon, you can paint your lines. Ooh, this is gonna be a long one. And I want you to be proud of what you made. Keenan just got really excited for you and had a I lot of so ideas. I have so many ideas for you. <laughs> That's what we love about creating and painting and drawing, so that you can have an idea. Keenan, do you wanna tell us your idea? So nope. that we can give, why? It's gonna be a secret. <gasps> and then oh, everyone's gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> I'm the goal of the map, and you have to make a map <laughs> coming to my ideas. Actually, he has. I'll just plug it in. There's a coloring with Keenan where you do a map. But this would be so much cooler because of the dotted lines. You can That's add how it makes it, it look like a path. You can have a broken path in your map leading to the beehive. <laughs> what if a bee got lost? We had to go find that bee. Uh-oh. What if the, the queen got kidnapped? <laughs> we have to save the queen. <gasps> It's a mission. You can make such a fun story out of this. Should you too. choose to accept your mission. <laughs> yes. There's so many fun things you can do. We had so much fun painting. Thank you for painting me with Leah. Painting with me, Leah. And thank you for painting with us. We are so excited. We want to see what you made, how your drawing and your painting came out in your colony of bees. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Take a picture, show, Lee and I will show ours. Uh, we'll take a picture after and also share it in the group. And let us know what you named, maybe, you, oh, we didn't even name our bees. You can name your bees, maybe you make a story, maybe your queen bee did get lost and you made a maze to find the queen mm. bee. There's so many fun things you can do. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative like our motto says. So we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>